think it's a fascinating issue that aspirin has been on the market for over a century. And it was only fairly recently that uh, we came to understand that it prevents coronary events, that it's good for people with heart disease. It was actually contraindicated in the 1950s. There's some great ads of saying, don't take aspirin if you have heart disease. Then we learned it was beneficial, but we still don't know the right dose 100 years after it's on the market. Frankly, when I got started with this, I about 25 years ago, it bothered me that we didn't know something as simple as the right dose of aspirin. It's been a lifelong goal in some ways to answer this question. And Adaptable will finally give us a chance to figure out the answer to this very simple, straightforward question that we really should know the answer to. People have asked why pick the right dose of aspirin as the first trial for PCORnet, which is a national model for how to do clinical research. From my perspective, first of all, it deals with a common disease, the leading cause of death and disability. Secondly, it's a very simple question that we really need to have answered. It's used in therapeutics all the time. How many people are on aspirin? Tens of millions of people. And finally, the risk of the trial is fairly low, so it gives us a chance to test out um, methods of doing research better within the context of a study, which is very low risk and user-friendly for people. Mm -hmm.